Hi everyone, just a really quick tutorial on how to use the motion tween option in Animate CC. Okay, let's make a quick new file here. In this case I've got 30 frames a second on the black background. I'm just going to use the oval tool to show you how to do this as usual, just a pink fill, and draw a basic circle in the first frame. And then we're just going to go over to 30, insert a keyframe. Now we're going to add a motion tween. And you'll notice that a message pops up. The selected item cannot be tweened. You must convert this to a symbol in order to tween. Do you want to convert and create a tween? Just say OK. So essentially you can do that if you get this message. Or ahead of time, you can change the object to a symbol and then not deal with this message. But you're not going to be able to use that option of motion tween unless it's a symbol. Once you have the motion tween on there, you'll notice that it's blue now. And what we can simply do is click in any frame that you like. You'll notice the layer has changed to this to tell you it's a motion tween. Click in any frame, grab your selection tool, and start to move the object. You start to get this vector path behind it that's showing the motion that you've created. Keep clicking, moving it around. It's kind of a simple way of creating a guided motion path, which we've done in another tutorial. Uh, except in this case, you can't be sort of as free with it. It's going to follow the lines that you create behind it. But you can go in and change the angle of these lines that it's following. So I can make them curvy, they can go down, up. Okay, so you do have some options of making it do what you might want it to do. And it will follow around the path nice and easily. To watch it again, hit Command Return. And you'll see your little pink oval flying around the screen. Okay, enjoy and have fun with it.